Hey y'all, so I am back with another video and in this video I am going to be doing some nails I'm pretty excited about just because I feel like they came out so cute and I just fell in love with the color combo. So to achieve this full set, I'm going to start off by doing my natural nail prep. So here I am just pushing back her eponychium and that is just to release any dead skin that is attached to her nail plate. And once I have that done, I'm going to come in with my cuticle bit to furthermore get that dead skin off of her natural nail plate. Now I mentioned it in my last video, I'm using my cuticle bit in reverse. I feel like I pretty much just work faster when I'm doing it like this. Now sometimes if I have a client where they have a lot of dead skin back there and it's really stuck, then I'll revert back to my original way where I use it in forward to go to the left side and then I'll start in the center and put it in reverse to go to the opposite side. After that, I'm going to come in with my sanding band and this is just to etch the nail plate just to take off any oils and then I'm also going to go towards the back of that nail and if I didn't get it all with my cuticle bit then my sanding band is going to take care of that and also these sanding bands that I'm using I get them from Amazon and I said it before I love using them they are so soft just what you need when you're working with the natural nail I can even run this at the back of her skin just where that dead skin is at and it will just buff that right away without causing any kind of pain to the client so I really do recommend these sanding bands next I'm going to come in with my hand file and just smooth out her free edge so after I have done this this is pretty much my natural nail prep I never go away from this I always do my natural nail prep and I always make sure that I do not skip a step so next I'm going to just apply my tips and here I'm showing you guys these are the tips that I'm using I believe I got them from Amazon but they're just a coffin tip and baby look at that C curve on them okay <laughs> serious business so I applied all of them I did minimal shaping and dehydrated and primed and now I'm coming in with my color now for this set y'all everything is pretty much going to be a gel polish design so I'm going to show you guys just a few of the nails for my application because it's pretty much all the same I'm going to start off by using this nude and I don't know what this nude is but i'm pretty sure it's a self mix so i'm starting off by just starting at the center of the nail and then walking that color down i'm making sure to keep my sides clean and then i'm just going to smooth that out i'm going to make sure too that my tip is nice and straight and what i mean by that it's not too bulky at the tip i have it cut off right there where it's not any extra acrylic hanging from the bottom or the side i want all of that to be smooth when you're looking at the tip i feel like that's where your eyes go to first when it comes to shaping so you want to make sure that that's nice and smooth and straight so after I have that done, I'm going to come in with a second bead and I'm going to place that right in the center. I'm going to flush out the back first while kind of keeping that product bulked up in the center of the nail. And then I'm going to walk it down a little bit and then I'm just going to blend it through my first bead. And you want to make sure that you're blending your beads very well. So what I mean, do you see that product right there? If I don't come in and smooth that out and blend it, you're going to see that, especially when I come in at the end and foul. It's going to be like a line from one bead to the other. So you want to make sure that you're blending that all the way. So now I'm going to come in with a third bead and I'm pretty much just stacking these on top of each other. So I'm doing the same thing. I'm going to flush out the back first, kind of bulk it up in the center, walk it down and then blend it through. And as you can see, I am really pointing her finger down. I cannot express to y'all how much this helps when it comes to your application. 
So now I'm gonna come in with a cuticle bead and I'm taking that small bead, placing it at the back of the nail. I'm going to push it up into the cuticle area and then I'm going to blend all of that down. So I'm coming in with my final bead and I'm going to place that at the back of the nail and I'm just going to push that product in, flush out the back. I'm going to walk it down as much as I can and then just blend it through the entire nail. This is pretty much like my finishing bead. Now these nails are long so of course they do need more beads but here lately I feel like I have been just in a buildable kind of state so i like to build my nails up if that means i have to use more beads then i'm fine with it because i like how my structure comes out at the end okay so i'm going to do the same thing like i said all of these are going to be nude so i'm going to show you guys one more time how i do my application pretty much All right, so I have my application done on all of my nails, and now I'm gonna come in and hand foul. Now, I forgot to mention right off the bat, y'all, do not pay attention to my nails. They look horrible, okay? I have just fouled down my nails. I didn't even foul them down all the way or soak them off, <laughs> so they're looking a mess. And then I went and tried a gel polish on my nails. I was just kind of seeing the color of it and it ended up staining my thumb. So I'm looking a mess. Now here you see I have like a little bandage on my middle finger. And that's just because y'all I have been filing away my skin. <laughs> so I'm like I have to do better and start trying to protect myself up here at this little nail tech job honey because it's doing me in okay make sure you wear your mask your gloves if you need extra protection like i do on your fingers use it it's going to help you in the long run so back to the nails i'm just filing them getting them in shape I always start off by doing the outer sidewalls first and then I'll go in after that and worry about shaping up the body and smoothing it out. So here are the nails after they have been filed and now we're finally going to get into the design. So I am using some gel polish liners from Beatles. They have so many different collections you can choose from. And this particular one that I have, I love it because it has pretty much all of the colors you need to start off. So that's why I chose this one right off the bat. Now in this set though, here are the colors that I'm going to be using. And like I said, 
at the beginning I really like these little color combos so to start off I'm going to create a French so I'm taking that purple and I'm just going to start off by doing my outline and I was using the brush from the applicator but I have a striper brush that just so happens to also be from Beatles and that is just my go-to y'all when it comes to doing Frenches I'm so more um, in control I feel like with that brush like it's my go-to so I always use that one so I switched over to that one and now I'm just going to create my outline once I have my outline done then I'll start filling it in Once I finished filling it in, of course, I cured it for 60 seconds. And now I'm jumping over here to the pinky. And on this one, I'm going to do pretty much just some stacked swirls. So I'm starting with that dark blue color. And I'm starting off with a thin line first. And then I'm just going to build it up. So depending on how thick you want it, thin or thick, you always start off thin. And then you can just build it up. So once I have that done, I'm going to be doing the same thing on the pointer finger. So before I cure this, I'm just going to jump over to the pointer finger, do the same thing, and then I'm going to cure this for 60 seconds. So I'm just going to pretty much just come in and do the same thing with a different color. So this is the tedious part about this design. I feel like anytime you're doing abstract, anything like that, it just takes so much time. So you do have to have patience for a design like this. I feel like though, if you are a nail tech, you automatically have patience, you know, if you love the craft and you want it to come out as good as you can get it then you don't mind about spending the time on a design i don't so i just finished adding that dark purple and now i'm going to come in with a yellow and to that yellow i added just a dab of white i just wanted it to be a little bit softer so i'm going to come in with that one and just add my swirl beneath that dark purple and this one i'm really not bumping them so close up against each other i'm kind of giving them space in between so you can do these any kind of way you choose most of them they're right next to each other the different colors but this one like i said i just wanted a little something different so i bought that swirl down just a little bit too much no problem i just went in with my art brush and cleaned it away so here you see me using my orange for my next color and then when i get done with that color i'm going to use a light purple and then finish off finally with a dark purple so once I get that design all finished, I'm going to move back over to my French nail and I'm going to be doing a checkered pattern. So I'm going to take that dark purple and I'm going to start off by creating my vertical lines first. Once I have those done, I'm going to create the horizontal lines next and then I'm just going to start filling in my little boxes. So while I'm doing this, y'all, let me dive into these colors a little bit more. Now, these are just gel liners, right? I don't expect a lot out of gel liners, but to pretty much just, you know, do a little bit of art with them. But these ones I am so pleasantly surprised by. 
they are very pigmented right off the bat and the consistency y'all they are so easy to use to manipulate to move swirl all of that okay you cannot beat it with the fact that you can really work the product and then they give you a great color payoff it's even better okay so these colors i definitely recommend if you were thinking about getting you some gel liners go ahead and grab these ones they are real good Oh, and this is the opposite hand you guys I wanted to show you that I am doing the same design of course on the opposite hand but I'm switching it up okay I'm not gonna do each nail matchy matchy so on this French I'm filling it in with the dark purple and then on the opposite hand I believed I filled it in with a light blue And to finish off these Frenches, I'm just going to add a outline around the French. And I'm using the same striper brush. I'm just using very thin pressure when I create this line. Okay, so for the middle finger and the thumb, I'm going to be doing something really simple. I'm just going to be making some flowers. So I'm just going to start off with my centerpiece on this one. And then I'm going to do some really small dotted ones also. So that's what you see me doing here with the yellow. Now, these flowers, y'all, I love them, but I'm kind of getting tired of them. <laughs> okay, I feel like I've been doing these for months and they are so cute they add like that little oomph to a little set but i think i'm already over it and i'm also kind of ready for the dark colors you know what i'm saying yeah so i'm already there but that is pretty much it for this set y'all i went in and i also applied some little pearls to the middle finger and the thumb just to fill up the area and then that was pretty much it this set was inspired I'm going to make sure I leave her Instagram name in the description because if you ever feel like you need a set she has so many cute designs on her page and that completes this video you guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in another video bye